أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله
gracious, generous messenger Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa and all that follows, alhamdulillah, Mabad. Alhamdulillah, we pray, Rabbana atina fi dunya hasanati. Wa fi akirati hasanati. Wa kina adabin nar. O our rabbi, O our evolver, O our nourisher, give us the hasan, the best, in the dunya first, right? This is balance. Islam is balance. Because it says, give us the best in this life, where fill accurate hasana, and give us the same beautiful hasan in the next life, the next day, the next day, and on the big accurate, right? And protect us from the torment of the hellfire. Well, we want the best in this life as the proving ground, so we have the best schools, the best messages, the best family, right? The best business, the best mindset, the best health, etc. So it says, Rabbanan, and you can read that in Baqarah, Surah 2, Ayat 201, where Allah says, there are those who say, Rabbanan, compared to those who just say, give us the best in the dunya and leave it there. And Allah says, there's nothing for them in the Antioch. But he says, there are those who are more balanced. They say, Rabbanan, oh, our evolver, Evolve us into the best. See, that's where patience come in, right? Suffer. That you don't get the best just like that. You work at it, and you want Allah to help evolve you stage by stage, just like Quran was revealed over a period of 23 years, right? And so you can evolve and grow into the best. And then because he's the maintainer, the preserver, the nourisher, when you get it, you're asking him to help you maintain what you got as the nurse and the provider, right? To help us grow into it. So we grow, we ask Allah to, as, as the Rabb, to help us evolve and grow into the excellence. And give us the excellence in the act here and protect us from the torment of the hellfire. And as we always point out, in that powerful du'a, when it says, Rabbana antinafi dunya hasana, boom, right? In this life, perfect. Where I feel accurate hasana, and then in the accurate, right? Hasana, beauty, excellence. Wakiya, we so say, Wakiya, right? Give us a, a protection. But the word there is taqwa, not wali. So give us this consciousness that when we pursue this life, we pursue it with the right mindset. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasnatain wa fi agrati hasnatain wakina wakina. That wakina is come from that taqwa, wakia taqwa, right? So give us the taqwa so that we pursue this life not just with a materialistic mind to get it at any cost. But we have this loving fear of Allah and righteousness as our protection. And as Ramadan is coming, Allah gives us that if we fast. Allah says, fasting is kutiban. Kutiban is prescribed to you, alaykum, like it was prescribed to those before you. Why? La'allakum tattakum. So that you will get this taqwa, increase your taqwa, so as you pursue the world, you have the right spirit. You're not pursuing it. To, to enslave somebody to get it. You're not pursuing it at any cost to walk on people. So Allah said, so in that dua, I want the best, and Allah wants you to have the best. And as we pointed out last week, you are the best. Because Allah said in so uh, 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 uh in team, pardon me, the fourth ayat, let her call up now and say, that fee, I sent him tough wing. I created you in that hasen. So now, of course, you should pray for the hasen. I made you the best. He didn't just say, cut. He said, lock cut. I definitely created you. Lock cut, call up now, not me. Lock cut, call up, created you in the best statue. So if I created you in the best, what you doing going for the less? Shouldn't it do I be? Rock man and Auntie Nephew doing your hasana? I already created you in hasana. There's another way, as Muhammad the Prophet said, you're born in the future with this beautiful nature. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. 
And so you want that now and later. And what helps you with that, it doesn't say, we know Wally, the sister has a Wally, someone to protect her, etc., right? But here, here's Wakia, Dukwa, give us this mindset, this righteous consciousness, so that we go after it here with the right mindset. And then the accurate, you look to the accurate with the right mindset too. You don't look to the afterlife and neglect your responsibility in this life. Say, honey, I, I, you know, I ain't going to pay the rent. Don't worry about it. I'm a man of faith. You know, we, we, it'll be paid in the next life. No, no, you got to take care of it now. So as to give you that balance, to put you in the right mindset. So not to be extreme on either level. So alhamdulillah, we pray that Allah the Most High will accept our Jumah today. The Qutbah and the Salat. And cleanse our hearts and our minds that our intentions will be clean and honorable and pure. So dear believers, today, Yom no Jumah, as Muhammad the Prophet say, the best day for the Muslims says on this day our father Adam was created and it's on this day we will be resurrected. And he says on this day the recording angels record as we come in and when the kutbah start they sit and they listen to the kutbah etc. And Allah says in Surah Jumah 62 Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim You said me who lillahi mafi semewati wa mafil ardi Malikum kudusul azizul hakim That's in Surah Jumah the first ayah he said, whatever you send me who, subhanAllah, subhanAllah, is in the heavens and the earth, do glorify Allah as Al-Malik, that this is your kingdom, Allah. Al-Qadus, the source of holiness, the holy one. Al-Aziz, the powerful, mighty one. Al-Hakim, the all-wise. And then the next ayat, the second ayat in Surah Jumah, so important. Say, it is he who back that, back that, back that, raised up from among the umin and rasulin minhum, raised up from the common everyday people, umin as common everyday people, right? They may say an uh, unlettered this, that, the other, but the common everyday people, a messenger from them, right? To do what? Allah says to recite his signs and to zakihim, purify them with the signs, the ayah. And to your early muhumunti tabai wal hikmah. And to teach the book and the hikmah. Where did he get the hikmah from? Al Hakim, right? That's what he raised up Muhammad the Prophet to do. Give the signs, teach the book, help purify the people, etc. But teach Al Kitabu and the book. You early muhumunti tabai wal hikmah. To teach, ill, ill. To teach them the book and the wisdom of the book. But Allah ends the first ayat with what? Al-Hakim, who taught Muhammad the Prophet Islam the wisdom. So alhamdulillah, he alameen. So we're grateful and honored, appreciate Allah the Most High for allowing us to attend the Juma under all of these circumstances. And those that don't, under these circumstances, may Allah reward them and bless them that's watching it. Because under these circumstances, Muhammad the Prophet said, there's a danger, right? You don't have to come under these circumstances. So under these circumstances, coronavirus, we're here, we pray Allah protect us, guide us, accept our Juma, etc. Alhamdulillah, But no matter what's in existence, a virus or anything else, Juma stands. Just like Ramadan is coming, we may have to do things different, but the fact of the matter is, if Ramadan in the month in which Quran was revealed, whether we here or not, that's a fact that can never be changed. Things may impact on what we do, grouping, iftar, and all of that. But the fact that the man is, Allah says in Bakura, Ramadan is the month in which Quran was revealed. Boom! Done! Nothing can erase it. Now it may impact on certain activities, but that doesn't impact on the fact of the matter is Quran is here. And will be here and has been here. So we're grateful, alhamdulillah, Rabbi Alameen. So, dear believers, just real quick, as believers in the dynamics of the world we're living in, 
No Quran is a living organism. Book for all time. Muhammad the Prophet says, I'm a mercy to all the world for all times. But for us as believers, no matter what the dynamic is, and we'll be tried and tested, we hold to the belief and the faith, the surety that Allah is in charge, Allah is God, Muhammad is his messenger, and believe in trying to do good deeds. So Allah says to the believers, here in the dynamic, and always, but even now, with this weekend and what we see going on with the religious community, Allah says, in Quran, in Baqarah, I am 136, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. For us as believers to let the world know this and reaffirm for ourselves, listen carefully. <laughs> Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, Baqarah 136. Allah says this. Kulu, that's say, for all of us to say. Kulu. Children, etc., right? 
Now this is important. Bani Israel. You see this? Bani, the children of Israel. Well, the word Ibn means son. It comes from Bani. Bani, same group. Ibn. Ibn, daughter. So children, right? So it comes from Bani Israel, the children of Israel, the sons of Jacob. Now, Allah says, Muhammad the prophet says, he said, what is Islam? Listen to the word. Boni, Boniya, al-Islam, Boni al-Islam, who can? It's built upon fire. But the same word for children is to build. Allah says, it's so a shift. What's the man you want man to him? To build. So you see, so our children, that's why this word son, Benny, Benat, uh, Ibn, it relates to build. Because our children build upon the foundation that the parents lay. You understand? So that's why Ibn, Ibnat, Benat, comes from the same booty al Islam. Our children's future is built upon the foundation that we lay, right? Inshallah. So important. So that's why they call the children of Israel. But actually the builders of Israel because they eventually became the 12 tribes. You understand? So, now it says we have to believe not just in Yaqub, Jacob, but it says, well, <coughs> yes, and yes, the tribes. Well, that's bad to The tribes that they eventually develop into whole communities. Just like what happened to us, you have children, then you have a family, then you have a family, you have a family reunion, next thing you know, you got a hundred people there. So Allah said, as Muslims, let the world know, we don't just believe in Muhammad the prophet and reject everybody else. It says, say, let the world know, we believe in Allah, we believe in Quran, we believe in the revelations that came before that. And in Ibrahim and his son Ishmael and Isaac and Jacob and the tribes. But listen, then Allah gets even more specific now. Because it says, well, it comes back. It says, well, And what was given to Moses, given to Jesus, and to all of the prophets. See, this is Islam, right? And all of the prophets may run be him from their Lord. And look what Allah says. Lanu Kari. Yes. Yes. Fairy food, pardon me, for the pond. We make no distinction between any of them. So we don't say one prophet is better than another. Or this one is less than another, right? So they belong to one brotherhood, right? So, and, 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 but look how it ends. So this is what we believe in all of the prophets. And then it ends this way, it says, well, not no level Muslim. <laughs> and we are Muslims. And we submit. Isn't that beautiful? We want to start out, especially in this climate, in this season, and we tie this in because that's the balance, the beautiful teaching we believe in all of that, right? Now, this weekend, the day Friday, tomorrow starts Passover for the Jewish community, right? Tomorrow is Passover, which is in Quran also, when, when, the, when, the, when the Hebrews got their freedom with Moses, that's why I say Moses, right? Delivered them from bondage in Egypt under Pharaoh. And, when the, and, and the way the history they presented is, when the punishment of Allah came upon the, 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 the Egyptians for the way they enslaved them, keep this in mind, try it to yourself, that the Passover was they took a lamb, slaughtered it, and put blood on their door as an indication that they were the children of Israel. And, and the punishment would pass them over. That's where Passover came. And that led to their freedom from Egypt, right? So, so that's this weekend. So that starts tomorrow, what's called Passover. Now, they're called the three things that relate to Ibrahim. That's why I start with Ibrahim, right? Now, this is beautiful. 
All of this is coming together, especially with us and its impact in coronavirus, how people are gathering together wearing the mask. You have to be careful. Next week, next Sunday is what? For our Christian friends, Easter. It's Easter. So you got Passover. And actually, with this Passover, about eight days, they have a certain meal, etc. This Sunday, for our Christian friends, is what's called Palm Sunday. Palm Sunday. But our point is, Passover, for the, for the Jewish community, Easter for the Christian. Then a week from there, about, but that's the fourth, is what? Ramadan. All three together, what you call it, Ibrahim is faith. All of them see Ibrahim as the great patriarch. Now all that comes together, and so this is what we're hitting, right? Because we're in that. And this coronavirus, they're saying, be careful with your gatherings, right? But anyway, so this Sunday is what the Christians know as Palm Sunday. And that palm tree bends, right? But you know, that Palm Sunday, we're going to go to it, it's in commemoration when they say Jesus, the son of Mary, rode into Jerusalem on a donkey. And as he rode in on the donkey, everybody did this. They say they threw their, if you don't see them on Sunday, we call them Christian, they threw their palms down. From the palm tree. But how do we relate to that, brother? Here are your palms right here, right? And don't we throw our palms down on the ground when we make such the we say Allahu Akbar? That's that was the message because of the sign of Muhammad the Prophet Sallam, right? We know that, right? Because it says after him will come Ahmed, right? And it was a sign. Allah say in Jesus and his mother is a sign. But anyway. For our Christian friends say they threw the palms down, right? Boom. Coming into Jerusalem. And Allah tells us in Surah 3, go read it. It says that Jabril came to Miriam and said, I give you good news of a word from Allah. And it say Jesus was a word from Allah. Right? That Jesus is a word from Allah. And just to tie in, say he came riding on a donkey. You know the symbol of the Democratic Party, it represents the masses, the Umina. The symbol of the Democratic Party is the donkey, representing the masses, right? It's how we represent the masses. The symbol of the Republican is the elephant. We're just trying to make a point here. For our Christian friend Sunday is Palm Sunday. So what do we get from that? That the world was among the masses. That the world will be among the masses. The big shots might miss it, right? And when it come along now, those who see say, put, and that's what we have to do, right? With the word of Allah, what do we do, brother? Allahu Akbar, right? Send me Allah who me there. And what do we have to do? We have to make such that. Put the palms on the ground, right? Isn't that interesting? These are called palms. And just for our Christian friends, we keep good relations, we have to. And then Easter, they say, that's when Jesus rose. They call Friday Good Friday. So we're going to be in the middle of all that next Friday, right? They call Good Friday. And they say Jesus was crucified. They call it Good Friday, not committed. Well, we've been telling them for a long time, Friday is always good. <laughs> but how many lives? You agree with us once a year, that's fine. <laughs> but they say he was crucified, so we connect to ourselves. And how do they say? Now, a lot of saying for iron, but we, we, we're going somewhere. They boasted they killed Christ Jesus, the son of Mary, which Allah said is a word. Allah said they neither killed him nor crucified him, but it was made to look that way to them. They were faked out. And what do they say? They say they nailed him on the cross. They put nails in his hand, right? Like this. And nails in his feet. And we're going to leave it right there. On a cross. Now, if I do this, don't I fall on a cross? And don't we have nails in our hand called fingernails? And don't we have nails in our feet called toenails? So it's to stifle what the message is. This is why it's so important for Muhammad the prophet to come. It's to stifle. Take your hands, fix it, 
So you can't work for yourself. Fix it when you can't work for Islam, right? Your actions, right? Nail it, right? And nail your feet that you can't walk the path of Islam, right? The idea was to staff it and it's north, east, south, west. Of course, it's four. So the, the game was to stop the word of Allah north, east, south, west. That's what they said. Allah said he was a word. Now, how do we get this? After Allah said to Shaitan, said to them, I'm creating a basha. And everybody made such the angels. And it said that Shaitan said, he's not going to submit. Now that he said, I'm going to lay in wait on Surat al-Mustaqim, what did he say? I'm going to come in front of them, behind them, the left and the right. I'm forming a cross, man. North, east, south, west. So now you see what that is? That's just a picture of Satan wanting to nail the word to keep it from moving universal. And so what does Allah do? Allah says, no, that's fine. It was made to look that way. But brother, sister, when this thing starts for prayer, Satan is north, east, south, west. What do we say? Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. And that has start do you think? That Allah is greater will the shaitan come in front of you, brother, trust in Allah. Will he come from behind you, right? He's greater than shaitan. Will he come from the left or from the right? Because that's their scheme to come universal. And what do Allah do? So he raised up a universal messenger. Allah says he's a rock material, right? He's a universal messenger for all of mankind, north, east, south, west. Lock it down. So here, what we're saying is, in this weekend, we believe in all, all of the prophets. But it's interesting, you have Passover. Then next week, you have Easter, but you have Palm Sunday. This is coming. And then Ramadan. You see that? Boom, boom, boom. And they're called the three Abrahamic faiths. They trace it back to Ibrahim. All three, right? So in that, it's so important that the religious community do all that we can to help the world. And it all comes from the base we know Ibrahim al So we wanted to tie this in because that's the reality of fun.